much better. Hey, they made an, uh, a new iPhone SE, which looks a whole lot like the old iPhone SE, except it has an iPhone 13 parts inside it. That's interesting. And they, and they fed it some uh, raw vegetables. Now it's green. The interesting part to me about this, and, and it, like, so we're going in our own order here, not Apple's order of the event. The iPhone mm -hmm. 13 uh, or the iPhone SE was the first of the new things that they announced. There were a couple of of things I noticed with that that then carried through. In fact, you know, found us where where we've spent the last hour here, forty seven minutes or whatever it is. But they said, let's talk about Apple Silicon, and then they went and talked about the iPhone SE, the iPad Air, and then the new M1 Ultra and on to the Mac Studio and all that stuff. But I thought it was really telling that Apple's story of Apple Silicon is not the Mac's story of Apple Silicon. It is very much, here's all the things we make with Apple Silicon, which is, you know, pretty much everything now. I, I, it's, it's an interesting thing. And, and when they started talking about the iPhone SE, the comparison product was iPhone 8. So that's the market of people that they are looking at and saying, this it's time for you to upgrade just like the Mac studio is. It's time for you 27 inch iMac people to upgrade the iPhone SE. It's time for you to, uh, to upgrade. If you have an iPhone eight, yeah. 26 times faster. Though, though you know, Dave, right. I got to say I'm very compelled. So right now I have an iPhone 12 mini as do you, I think I have a 13 mini. Oh, 13. Okay. Of course. Oh wait, do I have a 13 or a 12? I no, can't tell I you. It was a 12. I'm pretty sure it was a 12. I think, but anyways, I think you're right. Yeah, yeah here's right. the thing that excited me. Um, in this day and age, Dave, of masking and stuff like that, I hate Face ID. I really hate it. And this model has Touch ID. Now, number one, why can't Apple put both in a device? I don't understand. Because that way you they make you buy a watch. ID. So, like, my no. iPad Air has Touch ID. My iPhone is Face ID, and my MacBook Pro is Touch ID. It's like, it, it's chaos. Yeah, so you need you need to sign up either for the developer or uh, uh, public beta of iOS 15.4. Yeah, I know they, they yeah, they, it's, they it, uh, it go ahead. Cha it changes the game, because with a mask, it doesn't matter. You can unlock your phone, you can Apple Pay, you can do all the things that Face ID lets you do. Doesn't matter whether you have a mask on or not. So that, that problem goes away. Uh, I think, I don't think, e even if that were not the case, uh, but it is the case, mm -hmm. if it were not the case, I don't think you'd be happy going from the 5.4 inch glass screen of your 12 or 13 mini down to the 4.7 inch glass screen of the iPhone SE, I think you would feel like you just got shortchanged on what you can do on that device. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be a tough transition. You could do it. We humans are are remarkably flexible when we force ourselves to be right. But but I mean, I went from the eight to the twelve, and yeah. I accepted it because I think the screen was pretty much the same size. I think maybe it's, a little it was smaller. It was bigger. The screen on the twelve mini was bigger than the eight. Ah. Uh, yeah. Right. No. Yeah. They 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 got rid of some of the black space or whatever. Yeah. The so so they they took advantage of the full display. You're Correct. Right. So. Correct. Yeah. And going back, I, I don't. I I think it would be a difficult step. But but go get that fifteen point four beta. Like I forget that I'm running betas. It's been super stable for for me here. Um, but yeah. I, I mean, you know, I'm gonna learn how to do that. I haven't been doing any of the betas. But I mean, the other thing is, dude, the price point. I mean, four twenty nine yeah. starting. Though I'm yeah. sure you pay more if you want more RAM. Um, sure, sure, yeah. But okay. that's very compelling. I think that's going to bring a lot more people into the uh, the iPhone space. I I hundred percent agree. Because yeah. I mean, pretty much these days, getting a modern iPhone, you're talking a thousand bucks. Yep. Now, how you pay for it, it, it depends on your relationship with But your, you are going to pay for it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, another, yeah. You know. yeah, you're paying either yeah. way. Yeah, yeah, right. 